it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Hey everyone, in this video we're going to solve some third equations. So you can see here we're asked to solve for x with the square root of 2x plus 3 plus 3 equals 2x. So the minute you see a third equation, you're going to hit them with some of these steps. So first thing we're going to do is isolate the third. So I'm going to get the third on its own on the left hand side. So let's do that. We get the square root of 2x plus 3 equals and we get 2x minus 3 then. So I just want to get that square root on its own on one side. Next step we're asked to square both sides. So I'm going to square the whole entire left hand side and I'm going to square the right hand side. So on the left when we square the square root it goes, it's gone, so I'm just left with 2x plus 3 equals. Now we have to square out these brackets, so you can either do your back-to-back -back brackets or square them out whatever way you want. So when we square 2x minus 3 all squared, we should get 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. We've squared both sides, on to the next step, so we're going to solve here. So this is the bones of a quadratic equation here, so I'm going to bring everything over to one side, over to the right and we should get a weak quadratic, so let's throw everything over so we get 0 equals. So we have our weak quadratic here, 4x squared minus 14x plus 6, and you can solve this whatever way you want. You can factorise it then solve, or you can just jump to your minus b formula, whichever you prefer. I'm going to factorise it. And then I'm going to let each of the factors equal 0. So I let 4x minus 2 equal 0. x minus 3 equals 0. Do a bit of work. We get x equals a half and x equals positive 3. Now, this is where most people fall down. Everyone is delighted that we have solved the equation. However, there's one crucial step we need to do is we need to verify our answers. So we're going to plug them back in to the question at the very, very start. So over here on the side, let me take x equals a half and check if that works out. So is the square root of 2 by a half plus 3 plus 3 equal to 2 times a half? Well, if we work out the left hand side, we get 5 and is 5 equal to 2 times a half, which is 1? No, it is not. So, x equals a half is not a solution. We'll throw our hand with x equals 3, and see if that works out. So the left here, when we work out the square root of 2 by 3 plus 3, then plus 3 at the end of it, we get 6. And is that equal to 6? Yes, it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to say x equals 3 is our solution, and we're going to disregard x equals half because it is not a solution. Again, that very crucial step of verifying your answer at the end just secures you your full marks for the question.